Alright, hey guys, it's Michael and you're probably seeing that I'm wearing the same shirt as I did in my last video because I'm just going to do two videos all at once, so let's get to it. Um, today I'm going to do um, the Opposites book tag. I saw this going around um, booktube, so I just thought it would be really fun. I'm not prepared at all, so let's get to it. Alrighty! The first question, first book in your collection, last book you bought. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Um, my bookshelf's out of room, so I have put my books everywhere now, so I'm just trying to see if I can find the last book I bought. The first book I bought ever, I've, I would probably count like me buying it, and it's still part of my uh, book collection, is all the seven books of the Chronicles of Narnia. This is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, I bought this whew, in elementary school, so yeah. Uh, and the last book I bought was probably I bought it all at the same time. I went to my Goodwill and they had us, and they had the seventh, tenth, and the thirteenth book of a series of unfortunate events. So that was pretty cool. Got all of these, six dollars, yay! All right, the next one: a cheap book and an expensive book. Okay. Well, let me tell you, um, I, first a cheap book, I, I do go to Goodwill all the time. And they have incredible books because especially when you go at the right time, then you can get the half off. Um, so basically what happens is Goodwill puts a sticker onto their, um, in their books. They, that way, when you get to the register, the cashier knows how much and how much to ring it up for because you you get the sticker, it has different colors. Well, every week, Goodwill's um, color changes, and it's in the front of the store. Basically, that tag, like if it's yellow, green, blue, or red, that tag is half off. So, I get a lot of books for cheap, and it's literally half off. So, a lot of my books, probably like over 75% of it, is really cheap. The children um, soft cover is a dollar. So, when you when that tag is half off, it's 50 cents. So I've bought a lot of books. I mean, a lot of books for like 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars. They're really cheap. And for some reason, my Goodwill, it's incredible on books. They have, and a lot of them are in really good condition. So I don't know which one to choose for that one. But an expensive book. Oh, an expensive book would probably be... Um, this collect this Barnes and Noble collector's edition of Game of Thrones. Uh, it's the first one in the series. The good thing though is, um, I bought this book because what happens is, once after a while, Barnes and Noble um, gets like it becomes a remainder thing. Um, they'll slash down the price. So I bought th this is normally thirty five dollars when I saw it the first time and. It is, I only bought it for $7, so, yay me! A book with a male protagonist, one with a female protagonist. For my male protagonist, I'm gonna pick, um, Day in here, uh, Day from, uh, Legend by Marie Lu. Um, I'm sure most of you read this, so yeah, I'm gonna pick him. And then for female, I'm gonna pick, uh, Flavia from The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie. Uh, basically, like, a uh, Nancy Drew, but she's a little bit more, like, she's more scientific thing. Um, but I really liked it. So, question is, a book you read fast, one that took you long to read. Ooh, I know. Alright. For the book that I choose that I read really fast was Gone by Michael Grant. Um, yeah, this book was really fast to read. But probably because the font on here is really big, so it... it was no problem. I mean, even though it's like 600 pages or something like that. Yeah, it's like 550, 556 pages. So, but yeah, this took me a really quick time to read. A uh, book that took me the longest to read probably is um, A Dance with Dragons. This, this one was a beast. Uh, but I finally got through to, with it and yeah, I really enjoyed it by George R. R. Martin. It's really good. All right. A thin book and a thick book. For a thin book, I choose Push by Sapphire. Um, man, what's the movie called? Oh, Precious. Uh, if you've seen Precious, this is the book that it's based on. I haven't read this yet, but this is only 
like 150 pages, so it's it's pretty thin. Um, yeah, it's pretty thin. For a thick book, I was gonna choose Under the Dome, but I chose I'm gonna choose this one. It's a little, it's way bigger. It's the complete work of Shakespeare, of William Shakespeare. This book is huge. Um, it basically has all his works. Um, I found this at a Goodwill. Two dollars. Can't beat that. And look at the end paper. It's just really pretty. So, yeah. Alright, the next... <laughs> I skipped two questions. Anyways, pretty cover, ugly cover. Oh, I was not prepared for this. The ugly cover, I'm gonna choose this version of Left Behind by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. It's just a globe. I mean, there's nothing... Nothing special about it, but for a pretty cover, I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose "Blindness" by Jose Saramag Saramago. Uh, this is really nice because it's all white, and then in the middle section right here, it just has this really nice black with the title um, ag against it. It's just really, really, really nice. All right, a national book and an international book. Does that mean, like, made by an author? For this question, I was- I took it as something that happened- the setting-wise is international and one's national. Uh, for national, I'm gonna pick, um, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This happens in the South. I live in the South. Enough said. For the international book, I'm gonna pick Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I did a review on this. I loved it. It happens in England. World War Two. It's really good. All right. The next book, um, a a fiction book and a non-fiction book. They're all fiction. Uh, for non-fiction book, I've chose A Stolen Life by J. C. Duggard. I actually haven't read this yet, but I really want to see and check what it's all about because I've heard really good things about it. Um, and for for a fiction book, I'm gonna pick probably one of my favorite books that I've read this year so far. Uh, um, and that's Beautiful Ruins by Jesse Walter. Ah, oh, so good. So good. Alright, the next question. Wait, very way too romantic book and an action book. For a way too romantic book, I'm gonna choose Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. I don't even know if it's romantic or lust. I mean, I read it. Eh. So, yeah, there's that. And then for action book, I'm gonna pick Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. It's just a really nice cover, but yeah. Alright, what's the next question? A book that made you happy, one that made you sad. Alright, the book that made me happy um, is probably Red Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I love video games, so this was basically like a love letter for people that love video games. You don't even have to like video games to enjoy it, but man, this this made me happy. Uh, for the sad book, I'm gonna choose. I read this way back when. I don't even remember um, everything about it, but I still remember what happened, uh, which is Bridget Terabithia um, by Katherine Patterson. And if you read it, you know why it's sad. Um, you know what happens. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna tag anyone because I don't know who did this or not. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.